you guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I will be sharing with you guys my seventh graders homeschooling curricula picks for the 2024 2025 homeschooling year you guys I really hope you have been enjoying curricula week here on my channel um, I really have been enjoying making all of these videos and sharing with you guys my curriculum picks I'm a little bit nervous because now I feel like it's official you know it's out on the internet what we are using I feel like I gotta you know stick with it <laughs> um, but you know I'm really really excited about a uh, curricula week here on my channel um, so you guys for my seventh grader I will say she has been the easiest for me to pick as far as her homeschooling curricula choices I really gave her full autonomy in picking all of her choices this year and um, I just gave her like my top three and I let her go for the rest and um, she really has been the easiest I wanted to ensure as she is continuing her middle school years that she has a full seat at the table when it comes to what she is going to be learning and what she's going to be doing in our homeschool so she is just as excited about this upcoming homeschool year as i am for her so um you guys without further ado let me go ahead and get into our curricula picks i think this year i'm going to start things off a little bit differently i'm going to talk about our electives because i feel like i always forget to talk about the electives that we're going to be doing throughout our homeschooling year so the first big change that's going to be happening in our homeschool this upcoming year is that we are officially going to be joining a homeschool co-op. You guys, I am so nervous because this is the first time I'm ever joining like an official co-op. I'm really blessed because here in our area, our local library has so many different like homeschool events, STEM programs and workshops that we have been able to take full advantage of over the past four years in our homeschool. However, I'm finding because especially for my oldest, um, there's really not that many people there in her age group all the time where she can continue to form those consistent like relationships that I want her to have in her middle school years and that's why I ultimately made the decision for us to join a co-op so we can have a community um, the people we're seeing more consistently so she can continue to form those deeper friendships and connections and she can be amongst you know groups of her peers even my younger ones will be able to um, have like their friends and their different activities activities that they're going to be doing. Uh, this co-op is not an academic co-op. This is actually just enrichment. So they're going to be doing art, STEM, field days, all that type of stuff. So all the fun stuff that I feel like I'm definitely missing here in our home. So I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous, um, but I really think that this change is definitely needed here in our homeschool for the upcoming homeschool year. Another one of her electives she's going to be doing is she's going to be learning uh, Microsoft Office this homeschooling year. She's going to be doing a six-week workshop where she's going to be doing Microsoft Office, uh, which includes Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Um, she is also going to be doing in-person piano lessons this homeschooling year once a week. So I'm really, really excited for her. Up until this point, she has been using Hoffman Academy, which has been amazing, but I'm ready for her to get that one-on-one -on -one in-person instruction. She's been very dedicated on the piano. So I know she's excited about doing uh, in-person piano lessons. She's also going to be doing some online creative writing classes. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I definitely want her to continue to have fun with her story writing um, and things like that. And she's really excited about that. Uh, one of her last electives she's going to be doing is she's going to be doing PSAT and SAT prep in our homeschool this homeschooling year. Um, so those are all of like her electives that she's going to be doing. So now you guys, for the main core that we are going to be using in our homeschool, I'm not too sure if it's going to be a big surprise to any of you guys, but we are going to be continuing with Oak Meadow. Oak Meadow again reached out to me this uh, rising homeschooling year um, to send me their grade seven curricula in exchange for my honest feedback and my honest review. And I was so excited when they reached back out to me for me to review yet again another level of Oak Meadow because Oak Meadow has been a breath of fresh air here in our homeschool this upcoming year or this year. We have had so much fun my daughter has learned so much. I really love this um, Oak Meadows curricula because it's Waldorf inspired where she has like that creativity, that innovation and that innovation when it comes to the way she's learning. I love the rigor, the academic standards that it's meeting for um, her and it really just combines 
everything that I think me as a parent lacks in the curriculum and also her as the student. Uh, Oak Meadow in these middle school years is written towards the students. So it's independent and student led. I feel like it's really allowing her to have a hand in her own education. Each week she gets to decide how she wants to learn, if she wants to write a story or if she wants to write a research paper, if she wants to draw art. It's really, really cool um, how the Weeks of Oak Meadow goes. I cannot wait, you guys, to give um, my Oak Meadow 6 my final review and share with you guys like all the papers, the projects and everything that she has done this homeschooling year with Oak Meadow because it has blown my mind. This has been like one of the my most favorite curriculums that I have ever used in my homeschool, especially for this kiddo, and it just works. Everything just connects, and I don't have to think about it. It's just really all there for me. So this is really the only all-in-one curriculum that I really has thoroughly enjoyed. So I'm going to stop rambling, you guys, and we're going to go ahead and get into it. So for um, her first subject, which is math, she's going to be doing Oak Meadows Math 7. This Oak Meadows Math 7 has pre-algebra in it, and I'm so happy that um, she, that's what is in this Oak Meadows Math 7 because we have already started um, Math UC pre-algebra this homeschooling year, and I definitely don't have enough math to get me through the rest of the homeschooling year. Um, I am not allowed to give her algebra one credit until eighth grade so i'm happy again that we're going to be doing both math you see and oak meadows math this homeschooling year we're going to have enough math to carry us through and i really love matthew or math you see because of its mastery approach in um, mathematics and then for oak meadow they have the spiral approach so it's just like she's learning the concepts and mastering them in math you see but she's getting that review and repetition in the oak meadows math seven so this is everything she's going to be doing for math this upcoming homeschool year and i'm really really excited uh, both of these curricula just work for her now as far as english goes in oak meadow the english and the history the uh, courses are combined which it just makes everything make so much sense so whatever topic she is learning in history it correlates with the literature she's reading in the english and i'm really really excited about that one thing that's a little bit different about the oak meadows um, english this upcoming homeschool year is that the literature component is actually novel studies this homeschooling year. So I'm really, really excited about that. In the Oak Meadows uh, 6, the readers were just like independent readers and they had a few activities, but for it to bump up the level for the literature to be novel studies, it's just like chef's kiss this year. So I'm really excited. So for the English uh, 7, here is the course book right here and the teacher's manual. The course book is always thicker again because the uh, curricula is written towards the student. They also gave us a uh, English manual this year and I'm really excited about this because all of the research that she has to do for her papers, we spent a lot of time at the library this homeschooling year. So for her to be able to have like a little manual that we can bring when we go to the library, it's gonna be so cool. So this is the English 7 for her. Now, as far as the literature novel studies she's going to be doing, I'm going to share with you guys all of the literature right now. The first book I have right here is Esperanza's Rising. I have Cold Talker. Catherine Call Birdie. Shelf Life. Brown Girl Dreaming. Out of the Dust. A Single Shard, Illusion Sparrow, and Counting on Grace. So these are all the novel studies that she's going to be doing in her Oak Meadows English 7. And they also are really, really cool literature books. So in the Oak Meadows English 7, she's also going to be doing like a writer's journal. So what I did was I made sure I got her a school nest notebook for her like writing and reading journal with all of her literature. I made sure I had like a notebook that she can uh, do all of like the activities inside of. So this is our school nest notebook she's going to be using this year when it comes to her uh, novel studies studies. Now the last reference book that did come along with this core is the World Atlas. 
This is from National Geographic and this book looks so cool. I really love all the National Geographic and DK books so I'm excited about this one for her. So as you guys can see um, she's going to be studying um, world history this year. This world history for Oak Meadow 7 is world history and it really is has a heavy emphasis on American history. She's going to be going over all of the wars and it's going to lead us all the way up until a uh, modern time the information age uh, of technology and things like that so we're going to go over a lot this homeschooling year and i'm really really excited so that is the world history component so world history american component when it comes to her english and literature now you guys already know because my daughter's strength is english you already know i have to add in a little bit more pieces for her so what i'm adding in addition to to the Oak Meadows English is she is going to be continuing with IEW Structure and Style Level 1B. I was debating on if I was going to continue and finish this off throughout the summer with her, but I decided to give her a break and we just finished off the remaining half of the IEW Structure and Style 1B through the course of this uh, seventh grade homeschooling year. I figure it's no rush. This level of IEW is for grades six through eight. She's learning a lot. And because we are breaking up the writing assignments in Oak Meadow and IEW, IEW, I figure we can just stretch this along in another homeschooling year. So at the end of this homeschooling year, we will have half of this complete. So she will only have 12 uh, units to complete in her seventh grade year. So I'm excited about that for her. So after we complete these 12 lessons or weeks of IEW, we are going to go back to one of my daughter's favorite grammar programs, which has been Rod and Staff. You guys, um, she absolutely loves this grammar program. We have done Rod and Staff uh, 4, 5, and 6. And one thing I really love about Rod and Staff is that this grammar, it focuses on diagramming of sentences. Now, Oak Meadow does have grammar and vocabulary included in their curricular. However, my daughter, since this is her strength, she needs this challenge. Uh, we have done Fix-It Grammar also too, uh, from I think the Nose Tree book all the way to the fourth book. And I will say um, Fix-It Grammar is not giving her that rigor that she needs. And that's why I always end up pulling out Rod and Staff. I love the rigor that this uh, program includes and it actually just challenges her and she needs that. So after we complete those last 12 weeks of IEW, we're going to pick back up Rod and Staff. There's only 90 grammar lessons in here. So we only have to do this grammar book anywhere between two to three times out the week and she will complete this course over the you know homeschooling year, which makes it really, really doable. So I, I love Rod and Staff and I, I you guys, I have to make a video on Rod and Staff for you guys. Um, this is a old school uh, grammar curriculum and it just works for her. So that is grammar. Now, I also forgot to mention, you guys, for history, we are still going to continue using our School Nest History Timeline book uh, and document and everything for history. So this is our School Nest book we already have been working in, and this is just a continuation. I believe this is going to be our third year working in this, and this is so cool. I cannot wait to see this book, like when she graduates our homeschool, because it's really going to be jam-packed. So this is her History Timeline book, which is just a continuation. Now, you guys, for science for her, we are going to continue with Oak Meadow Science. And this year, the science is going to go over Earth Science, which I'm really excited about. This is the course book. This is the lab manual because she's going to be writing lab reports this homeschooling year, and I'm really excited for her. And this is my teacher's manual. The Oak Meadows um, Earth Science also came with a lab kit. And you guys already know I need me a lab kit. I'm so excited that this level came with one. This is definitely going to ensure I'm getting those experiments in and we're doing everything that we need to do. So for science, she is going to be learning earth science. Um, I'm excited to do Oak Meadow. I definitely will say uh, while we didn't use the science curricula in six, I really will say she was not prepared for the rigor in the science this homeschooling year. However, I definitely know she's going to be prepared to do Oak Meadows math or Oak Meadow science seven uh, this year she's going to be ready for the rigor especially since we've been working on like note-taking skills and study skills she's going to be prepared for this and i'm really excited about our uh, science choice for this homeschooling year 
Now, I have a few other supplemental things that's going to be carrying over from her uh, sixth grade year, which is vocabulary cartoons. This is really just helping her ensure that she is still working on those vocabulary muscles. These are just fun cartoons that really helps her retain different vocabulary uh, words and things like that. This is a really, really cute book. She really enjoys these vocabulary cartoons, um, this SAT word power. So I love this one. Uh, we are going to be doing the fallacy detective from the critical thinking company as far as critical thinking skills and reasoning skills and I'm excited to add this one in our roundup. We are also going to continue with Word Roots Level 1 as far as our uh, vocabulary practice for those Greek and Latin root words. This is really going to help her as far as her testing prep as well uh, because I really feel like you cannot memorize every single word in a dictionary. <laughs> so for her learning those root and Latin prefixes and suffixes, she's going to be able to take that knowledge and help her when it comes to the vocabulary portion of the SAT and the PSATs. Now, something I just seen for fun uh, on Amazon when I was making my purchases was this book right here called Art Lab. My daughter absolutely loves art. And I think that's why she loves Oak Meadow because it incorporates some type of art lesson or creative project at the end of each week. And I seen this cute art book and I just had to just add it to her mix. So if she wants to try any other different type of art medium or art project throughout the course of our homeschool year, she will have like a source to be able to go to. Um, I love that this goes over like water painting and different, um, I guess, perspectives of painting. And it's really, really cool. So she uh, already took a snapshot of this, pit, uh, this book and she loved it as well. So you guys, these are my homeschool curricula picks for my seventh grader. I'm excited for her. And if you guys want to see anything in more of a depth in our um, in these curricula picks, just let me know. Any type of reviews, just let me know. Um, here on my channel, moving forward, you will see again my sixth grade uh, curricular review for Oak Meadow. I'm going to share with you guys everything. I'm going to try to do a few more planning videos with Oak Meadow Six, so you can kind of see how I plan and uh, put all these things together for her on a weekly basis. Um, and hopefully that'll be helpful for you guys in your homeschools as well. But as always, I hope you guys enjoy curricula week. I have enjoyed this uh, filming these uh, videos for you guys so much. It's, it's just been so much fun. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.